Phyllis, send my frontline managers right now. Take a seat, gentlemen. How are you doing, boss? I'm not doing so good. I'm not doing so good. Could one of you please tell me how many ounces of beer are in a 12 ounce beer? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Uh, 12, boss? Then why are we filling them with 12.68 ounces of beer? I... It's killing our profits. It's killing our profits. Look at this. January was pretty good. February wasn't quite so good, but it wasn't that bad. March, we're going back up. We're on the incline. It was pretty decent. April, a little bit better, but at least we're hanging in there. May was probably the best month of my life in recent history. And then June and July are just killing us. What's going on out there? I don't know, boss. Uh, we, we can recalibrate the machines. You will recalibrate the machines. Now go get it done. Now, go, go, go. Oh, wow. Wow. You know it'd be way easier than recalibrating all those machines? Just turn down the poor amount, you know? Get those profits back up. He said May was the best year of his life. But what if we just change the variability? Yeah, shut, shut up. Just shut up the variability. But it would work. No, it would Get to work! Man, I've been waiting all day for a cold one. Mm -mm. Wait, it used to be here, now it's only filled to here. They underfilled it. They don't know anything about variability. I will never, ever buy a bear from them again. Phyllis, I need my frontline managers again, stat. That was quick. Is you can do something, right? Yeah, you can see gentlemen getting used to these uh, little uh, meetings between us. Uh, so I noticed something that uh, after July, after our meeting, we had a great turnout. Our profits skyrocketed, skyrocketed. Thank Better you. than May, may I remind you, the best month of my life. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Oh, August was great. September was year. great. Can anyone tell me what this is right here and here and here? Now we're right here. That almost looks like zero. It is almost zero, Grant. Thank you for noticing that. They, the customers found out that we were underfilling the bottles down to 11.5 ounces. Your idea. Was it your idea, Grant? Whose idea was it? Because absolutely killing us once again. When I asked you how many ounces are in a 12 ounce bottle, you said 12, I thought we had an understanding. What are we gonna do about this? I know how we can fix it. How can we fix it? We can adjust the variability in the machine so the bottles are filled to 12 ounces. What in the world is variability? Our process of filling beer bottles is a great example of variability. Being able to manage our variability is important because it helps us make good use of our capacity. In our case, the capacity is beer and the capacity is Capacity is expensive if you waste it. When we were overfilling our bottles, like in the numbers I have here, we were filling our bottles with an average of 12.68 ounces and wasting a lot. In the X-bar chart I have here, our upper control limit is 9.2 ounces and our lower control limit is 12.44 ounces with an average of 12.68. After the amount of beer was dispensed into the bottle was turned down, we ended up underfilling our bottles. That led to unhappy customers, as we saw earlier, and eventually a decrease in profits. If we adjust our variability in our machines and bring our average up to 12 ounces, we will start making a profit and have happier customers. Gentlemen, variability fixed our problem. We're doing better than ever. Thank you so much. You're welcome.